Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to create a basic point-to-point -point link with two Cyclu T280s. Firstly, I'm going to log into one of the radios using the default credentials of admin and bin. I'm going to go to the settings tab or the system tab. I'm going to change the operational mode to point to point. I'm going to apply these settings and save startup config. I'm then going to go to device config and I'm going to reboot the radio. Let's go back to general. You can now see that the operational mode has changed to point to point. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this little plus icon up here and I'm going to create the link. The remote device name at default will be the numerical digits of the serial number. So I'm going to pop that in and I'm going to hit save. So that has been saved, you can see that the remote side is showing up here now. The radios aren't yet connected as this would be green, but I'm going to apply. I'm going to save all startup configs and I'm now going to do another device reboot. So I'm going to go to device config and I'm going to reboot. Now the radio is rebooted, let's log back in and see if the link has now formed. So as we log back in, we can see now that both radios are online and available. The remote end of the radio is here. We can see the details of the main page of the SSID of both radios. If we go to the system tab, we can now see both of the names of the radios the two models, so they're both T280s. We can see that one is in point-to-point -point mode. This is the radio that we are currently logged into, and the other end of the link is TU. We've noticed that with setting up a point-to-point -point link with T280s, that the operational mode on one radio needs to be point-to-point -point in order to create the link, and the other end has to be a TU. We can see that the system uptime here for both of the radios if we go to date and time, we can amend the date and time now for both of the radios. We can amend the ports on both of the radios. We can go into inventory and we can see the serial numbers, the software version and the MAC address. We can download the tech log from both of the radios. We can also upgrade the firmware now. We can see that it's on 212, so this is the latest firmware for these radios, but we, if we wish to, can upload a new firmware. We can also see in the device config, we can download the configuration file or we can upload the configuration file. We can reboot, we can reset to factory. If we go to the management tab, we can configure both the static IP addresses for both the radios. I have left on here the default IP. We do recommend leaving the default IP only because if you have this on a DHCP static IP or it hasn't been um, reserved in your DHCP server for this radio and it resets or you don't know it, it's always recommended to have the up default IP set up just so that you can access in these scenarios. You can set up the SMP server. You've got a ping tool where you can ping the radios and you can set up the GUI username and password if you wish to change these. You can also go to the radio tab and you can change the SSID for both the radios. If you're going to do this though, I would recommend doing the remote radio first. So in this case, the radio ending with 108. So this radio down here, you can change the polarity 
on both the radios, you can change the go lay code, you can amend the distance. If you go to links, you can see the link in here. This is only for the local node, but you can also go to the local and remote and you can see the details for both of those. If you had a point to multi point, you'd obviously have more links in here. But in this case, we've just got a point to point. So we've only got the local and the remote. And then finally, under networking, we can see the Ethernet ports. So we can see the ETH1 is currently connected. This is the port we are currently using for data. But this is where you'd also be able to see the other ports on the radio and you'd be able to enable or disable them. You've got the bridge, so you've got the bridges of the radio, so you can see that all of these are set up to default currently, so they're all transparent, but you can amend these as you wish. And if we go back to the main page, that's pretty much all the details for the point-to-point -point link. Thank you for watching.